If you are applying for the O-1 visa, check out this video for the consequences that may be in store if you are denied. Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and I'm an immigration attorney. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about consequences of denials. So let's say you get a request for evidence from USCIS and you're trying to figure out, okay, should I try and fight it or should I just withdraw the case? So the thing is that if you try and fight it and you're denied, there are actually going to be consequences. For example, on Form I-129, there is a question that asks you if you've been denied for the O-1 visa for the last seven years. So let's say you have been denied in the past and you're reapplying again, you're going to have to say yes. And once you say yes, most of the time you're going to end up getting a request for evidence from USCIS because, you know, they're going to be like, well, in the last seven years, has your career advanced so much that you truly have become extraordinary? All these questions start coming up. So that is the downside of being denied once. Also, if you've been denied for like any type of visa classification, you may not be eligible for like the visa waiver program and may ultimately have to go down to like the consulate for an interview. It just depends on which country you are from. So there are definitely consequences when it comes to like being denied for the O-1. So usually I ask people, well, you know, what is your long-term goal? Because if you don't actually have the credits right now why not take like one or two years you know outside of the country go build up your credits and then come back in as opposed to like try and rush it now and then you know get yourself in much deeper trouble and then not be able to come in for the rest of your life so if the long-term goal is you want to be in the United States for the rest of your life one or two years versus like you know 40 50 years for the rest of your life is nothing so I would say like you know try and figure out what your long-term goal is and if possible take some time off off, really build up those credits before you even think about applying. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment below and I look forward to seeing you again in my next video.